<coughs> We're going to take a look at lesson 4.1, multiplying by tens. Okay, what is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. What is 2 times 30? 60. How do we know that it's 60? I love it. So we did 2 times 3 is 6, and we add a 0 because there's one 0 here. What about 2 times 300? 600. Because 2 times 3 is 6, and there are two zeros. 2 times 3,000? 6,000. 6, because 2 times 3 is 6, and then we have 1, 2, 3 zeros. What pattern do you notice in these products? So the pattern that we notice is that each of them are six because two times three is six every time, but they are increasing times 10 every time because we're adding an extra zero on the end. How can this pattern help us find 20 times 30? Raise your hand if you think you could tell me how to work out 20 times 30. Go ahead. Two times three is four. No, six. Six. And then you're going to add a zero. And then we're going to add how many zeros? One, two. Two. So we're going to make it 600. 20 times 30 is 600. Okay, let's take a look at the next page. Page 144 says you can use place value and properties to multiply two digit numbers by multiples of 10. So 40 times 20 is 40 times how many 10? Show me by showing me your fingers. Uh, oh. 20 is how many 10s? Two. Oh. It is two. You should have held up two fingers. Okay, let's, let's look down at the bottom of that page. Number one says 70 times four. What is seven times four? Seven times four is 28. 28. And how many zeros do we have? Two. So it, our answer is 2,800. Yeah. What is five times eight? Forty. And how many zeros do we add? Two. So it's four thousand. Four thousand. Good job. So this one is interesting. We're going to look at twenty-four times ninety. I'm going to write this one because I have two numbers that I have to multiply. I'm going to write it like this. Okay. Nine times four is thirty-six. 9 times 2 is 18, 19, 20, 21, and there is a 0 here, so we're just adding one zero on the end. 2,160. The next problem is 45 times 60. Six times five. Thirty. Six times four. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. And we have one zero, so we've got to bring it down for a placeholder. Twenty-seven hundred. Twenty-seven hundred or two thousand seven hundred. Okay, we are gonna look at number five on page one hundred and forty-five. 90 times 10. I'm really glad you guys love math so much you want to giggle about it. Okay, number five, since we got our giggles out, 90 times 10. So the way that I'm going to do this is 9 times 1 is what? 9. 9. 
there are one, two zeros in those problems. So I'm gonna add two zeros, and my answer is what? 900. 900. Number six, I'm gonna take four times six, and my answer would be? 24. 24, how many zeros am I adding? 2,400 is the answer. 2,400 is the answer because I added two zeros. Number seven, I'm gonna look at two times seven, which is? 14. How many zeros do I add? How many zeros do I add? Number eight, 11 times 30. What is 11 times three? 33. 33. Plus how many zeros? One. One zero. What is my answer? 330. Number nine, 12 times 40. 12 times four is? 48 plus one zero, my answer would be? 480. 15 times 50, what is five times 15? If we don't know, we can work it out on the side. It is 75. So 15 times 50 is 75. Plus how many zeros? What is your answer? Number 11. 30 times 13. We know that 3 times 12 is? 36 plus 3 is? 39. How many zeros do we add? One zero. I want you guys without talking to do number 12 and 13 by yourself. So we just paused the video and took a little bit of time to discuss this one with our class. 76 times 10. When you're multiplying any number times 10, all you're gonna do is have that number and add a zero. Because 76 times one is 76, and then you just add a zero on the end. <coughs> the next problem is number 13, 40 times 25. What is four times 25? Um, 100. 100. Okay. And then I have another zero, so I have to add a zero on the end. So so it's 1,000. Okay, so we didn't have to do it by ourselves. Let's take a look at 14 through 19 together. 50 times a number is 1,500. Now, I know that there's a zero here, but there's two. there are two zeros here. So I need one of those zeros to come over here and 15 times what is five? Um, three. Three. So 50, 50 times 30 is 100. I'm sorry. 50 times 30 is 1,500. Let's look at that. Let's double check. So 50 times 30 is 1,500. What's five times three? And we have two zeros. Is that correct? Okay, let's look at number 15. Twenty times what is 1800? Yes, sir. Let's try it. A couple of you said 90. Let's try 20 times 90. 2 times 9 is? 18. How many zeros do I add? 
Is this correct? 20 yes. times 90 equals 1,800. Does that match up to what this says? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Let's look at number 16. 60 times something is 4,200. What do we think it is? We think it's 70. Let's check it. 60 times 70 equals, 6 times 7 equals what? 42. How many zeros do I add? 4,200. Is that what this says? Yes. Yes. So are we correct? Yes. Number 17, what times 80 is 6,400? We think it's 80. Let's check. We're going to put 80 here. And we're going to work it out and see. What is 8 times 8? 64. And we add how many zeros? Is this the same thing as number 17? Yes. Okay. Then we got it correct. Number 18 says what number times 90 is 3,600? We're going to check 40. Forty times ninety equals thirty six hundred. Four times nine is thirty six. There are two zeros, so that is correct. Number nineteen says what number times seventy is three thousand five hundred. Seven times what is thirty five? Four. Seven Four. times what is thirty five? Five. Seven times five is thirty five. Let's see if it's 50. 50 times 70. 5 times 7 is? We add how many zeros? Is 50 times 70 equals 3,500 what number 19 says? Yes. Then we got it right. We're going to compare 60 times 30 is what? Yes, it's 1,800. 1,800 is equal to 1,800. What is 4 times 12? 4 times 12 is 48. We're going to add that zero, and we know that 480 is greater than 460.